coverage of the Liga Portuguesa. Today, it's Benfica against Porto. So without further ado, we're off to the stadium. Here's your commentary team, Martin Tyler and Alan Smith. Hi there, Martin Tyler with you once more. Alan Smith again alongside me. Portuguese football, the Liga Portuguesa. And uh, Alan, I'm sure you're anticipating a decent fixture. Yeah, great to be here, as always. Well, when we know uh, Porto and Benfica are squaring up to each other, we know probably the result today will have a big bearing on the silverware. No, that's right. So it's a huge game. They've been talking about this one all week. And before that, even the papers have been full of it. Well, this is how the home team shape up. Julio Cesar plays in goal. Nico Gaetan starts with Eduardo Salvio in the wide positions. In attack, Jonas plays up top with Lima. Side. Halton starts in goal. Alexandro starts with Danilo as the fullbacks. Jackson Martinez is the lone striker today. Santoso is the ref. So we start with the kickoff. And I must say, both of us up here are really looking forward to this match. Jonas. Touch off the player and out. Hector Herrera. Perezma. Oliver Torres. Herrera. Samaris. And the attacker coming away with help on either side towards Jonas Gutierrez and it will go into the middle now oh he's put it into the goalkeeper's gloves Eliseo Pizzi Oliver Torres He's controlling the play here. His teammates just borrow the ball for a few moments and then give it back to the main man. Throw for Porto. Hector Herrera. Great opportunity. In with the chance. An awkward effort at goal, and that was reflected on the lack of accuracy. Didn't move his feet quickly enough there, and he should have done. Andreas Samaris. And pass back again. Could be a yellow card here for that foul. And it's Gutierrez. Well, some people get to 20 and think their job is done. I don't think this fella comes into that. He can uh, add to that. Maybe 25 would be within reach. Yeah, I think so. Why not? He's got enough games left to uh, add significantly to that talent. Goalkeeper has to go and uh, get the ball for the goal kick. So one off the 20 mark, which is so magical for strikers. 19 to this point. He's done well, and he's got some good goals. He's got some important goals. To the wingman, Porto's throw. Hector Herrera. 
Oliver Torres. Rahimi. Da Silva. Quickly back to his feet. Carrera. Some options now for the pass. Rahimi. Hector Herrera. Gets his foot in there. Keeps it going well. And the cross coming in. And it's back to him again. The defender's done well to deal with that cross. Lent the ball to his mates. He's got it back again. Oliver Torres. Bonas. Samaris. Andreas Samaris. It's an attack now from Benfica. Eliseu. That's gone out for a throw in. Eduardo Salvio. Pizzi. Here come the supporting cast for him. It's got to be. Very good stop here. That's a corner. it back again quickly players arriving in the middle hoping for the cross good judgment there to make that interception and clear the ball away Jonas Andres Samaris. Pereira. Well, that is half time, and the score is nil nil here. It's been gripping, hasn't it? The way these teams have gone about their business, uh, very much as predicted, and nothing to separate them as yet. Their level at half time. Yeah, intriguing contest. You look at the two sets of players and uh, they are evenly matched you can't say there's one team better than the other and, and that's the way it's panned out so we've reached half time and the game well the ball is rolling again for the start of a second half which we hope alan will be better than the first well i don't think it'd be much worse to be fair uh, both managers had a bit of work to do in that session room uh, let's see who gave the better team talk Andreas Samaris. Herrera. Hector Herrera. It's a chance for the white man to make some progress here. Da Silva. Porto pushing on here, getting men forward gone back to him oh and goes the cross one or two players are warming up for the home team we'll see who comes on we'll keep the records of the yellow cards and we make it eight for this player now to be late in the campaign, he won't suffer too much for that, I don't think. No, he hasn't missed too many games, so uh, I'm just going to that total. Well, we're still level here, and we're going to have a substitution. Is this the way to alter the match in their favour? Pizzi. Eduardo Salvia. Nicholas Gaitan. Jonas. 
and it goes for goal. Great goalkeeping. It's going to be a corner. Well, it could be that decisions like this will decide the game. We're going to see uh, a tactical substitution here, I'm sure, to try and turn this draw into a win. Goalkeeper's territory, really. That's a nice pass, a headed pass to a teammate. They're looking to make the change now as quickly as possible, the home team. Now he can cross it. Now a throw in. Substitution now. Eduardo Salvia attacking now. Ruben Amorin. going to be his throw here. And it will go into the middle now. Gaetan! Well, the keeper got a touch to it to make the save. It probably gets to the point where the strikers feel they're not going to be able to score. This keeper is in inspired form. It is a key moment in the match, really. And the manager here not settling for level pegging. He's going to try and do something put his team into the lead. Push back into play by the goalkeeper. What a good piece of defensive clearance that was. Hector Herrera, Benfica, now the team in possession. Played on his feet, did well. Herrera, return pass, excellent positioning, and the interception is made. Check on the clock there, five minutes to go. They're still waiting for the opening goal. If it comes now, it'll be a decider. Eduardo Salvia. Pereira. That's gone out for a throw-in. The manager's going to bring on a fresh player now. Eduardo Salvia. Martinez. Hector Herrera. The end of regulation time with the scores level.